What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released watchOS 26.2 and in this video I'll be covering everything new in the updates including the new features, the performance, the battery life, and if you should update or not. Now starting off with the size of this update, it came in at 464 megabytes on the dot on my Apple Watch Ultra 3. Now of course that size will vary depending on the Apple Watch that you're you know downloading this update for and of course the version that you are coming from as well. But this was coming from from watchOS 26.1. All right, so now what's new here in watchOS 26.2? And the first feature has to do with the sleep score, which if you sleep with your watch every night, you will get a sleep score as of watchOS 26. But now with watchOS 26.2, there's been a change to the grading system for sleep score, and it's now more accurate and more realistic thanks to that change. So as you can see here, this change is also reflected on iOS 26.2 because on iOS 26.2 on the right, 26.1 on the left, you can see that before the highest grading was considered excellent, now it's considered very high. Also, the scoring system is more narrow now and it's not as easy to get the top grade anymore, as you can see from the chart right here. And you'll see the difference here. Like on December 7th, I scored a 57 on watchOS 26.2 and iOS 26.2 that's considered low before that was considered okay when in reality that was a very low sleep score so like I mentioned earlier it's just more realistic and more honest with the scores now and if we go back to looking at these scores like the ranking system you could see that very high is now 96 to 100 previously that was a 10 digit you know ranking so 90 to 100 so it's a lot more it's a lot harder now to get the top score of very high and and same across the board. So high is now 81 to 95. Okay is 61 to 80. Low is 41 to 60. And very low is 0 to 40. Now keep in mind, nothing about the actual sleep score itself has changed. So it's still based on the duration of time that you're asleep the bedtime, like the time you go to sleep, and also the amount of interruptions you have during your sleep. So Apple has only revised the grading system for each score, the overall grading system for your sleep score. Now you'll also notice some new notifications on your Apple Watch after installing watchOS 26.2. And these are also related to the sleep score. So it shows very high sleep score, and it tells us about it, and it tells us what our score is. If we go ahead and expand that, so you can see it shows us our grading system system right there and it says getting enough sleep earned you a 96 last night nicely done Brandon and you will also see these on your iPhone as well these will be coming from the health application now with iOS 26.2 you do also get the ability to disable those notifications so if you don't like getting those notifications about your sleep score every night you can change that but you have to be on your iPhone to do that so go to your iPhone go to the health app and tap on your profile picture in the top right Go down to notifications and you'll see sleep right here and then go into sleep score notifications that is new and now you have the option to deselect so by default all of these are checked off but now if you do not want to receive a notification if you got maybe a low okay or high sleep score you can uncheck those now based on this i will only get a notification if i get a very high or a very low sleep score and you can also access that inside of the watch application so if you go down here to manage sleep in the apple watch app that will take you to the sleep section and if you scroll down we do have sleep score notifications you can tap on that and you get the same section here there's also been a fix for an issue where the music application might fail to advance to the next song so if you go into apple music on your apple watch sometimes it would fail to go to the next song when you tap on the next button and i've had that multiple times before ever since watchOS 26.0 that's something i talked about before so it looks like that has been fixed finally here with iOS 26.2. So now you should not have any issue going to the next song, even if you pause and go to the previous song, which seemed to be a trigger before. Now everything works properly here in watchOS 26.2 when it comes to Apple Music. Now also if we head into our settings on our iPhone and we go down to the notifications section and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have a brand new section here for enhanced safety alerts. That's under the enhanced alerts title right there. If we go ahead and tap on that, we we get new options for earthquake alerts and imminent threat alerts along with an option to improve alert delivery where it says share your approximate location
communication with Apple to improve the timeliness and reliability of enhanced safety alerts. Now, Apple said that these alerts will also come across on your Apple Watch, as this was mentioned in the release notes for watchOS 26.2. So if you get any of these imminent alerts or these earthquake alerts, you will see those on your iPhone along with your Apple Watch and your other Apple devices. And to be specific, Apple says that enhanced safety alerts can inform you about imminent threats such as floods, natural disasters, and other emergencies with rich information like a map of affected areas and links to additional safety guidance. And they do also mention that this feature is currently only available in the US. So this might roll out to other countries in the future, but for now, for both iPhone and Apple Watch, that's only available in the US. And we also have something else new in iOS that also impacts watchOS. So that is with the Reminders application. So now with Reminders in watchOS 26.2 and iOS 26.2, you can set a reminder as urgent. So now when you set a reminder as urgent, it will set an alarm to go along with that reminder and it will alert you that that reminder is due. Now this will also come across as a notification and the whole alarm will come across on your Apple Watch as long as you are updated to watchOS 26.2 and here is what that will look like. So it shows you test reminder, that is the name of the reminder. It does tell you the time, the reminders, and also you have the option to complete or stop. Now I have this showing complete because I have an option set inside of my settings for reminders to replace snooze with that. So you can see right here in our reminder settings under urgent reminders, I have complete from alarm set. So it shows complete instead of snooze because I have that set. But if you don't have that checked off, that is not on by default, it will show snooze and stop right there. And of course this does correspond with your iPhone. It will show the same alert on your iPhone. Also with iOS 26.2, automatic Wi-Fi network syncing between iPhone and Apple Watch will be disabled in the EU in order to comply with new regulations. So something else that was not mentioned in the release notes or anywhere else, but just something I've noticed personally with watchOS 26.2 is that fitness tracking appears to be improved a little bit here. So specifically, my outdoor walks have been detected quicker now. So when I forget to put on that I'm doing an outdoor walk, it's detected a lot sooner than it was in watchOS 26.0 or 26.1. And I've also noticed a slight improvement with battery life when it comes to workouts as well. So I really had bad battery drain on watchOS 26.0 when it comes to workouts. And then also with 26.1, it got a little bit better. But now with watchOS 26.2, it seems like a lot of my battery drain issues have been resolved. I'm not draining as much battery when I'm doing workouts anymore. And speaking of fitness, we also saw Apple Fitness Plus expand to 28 new markets. So some of these countries include Chile, Hong Kong, India, Japan, the Netherlands, Singapore, Taiwan, and more. And in this press release, Apple does also mention that Japan is getting access to Apple Fitness Plus early next year. And also dubbing is now available in Spanish, German, and Japanese. We also see some additional countries added for some of the watchOS 26 features, including emergency SOS via satellite, live translation, messages via satellite, ECG, hypertension notifications, irregular rhythm notification, sleep apnea notifications, and track detection for workouts. But as far as overall battery life on watchOS 26, 6.2, I've also noticed a minor improvement just across the board. Even without workouts, I have noticed a minor improvement here from 26.1. So that's always good to see. If I go into my battery health, you can see I am still sitting at 100% battery capacity on my Apple Watch Ultra 3, which I wear every single day, and I also wear it to sleep every single night. So battery life has been solid. You can see my chart right there. It's a small chart, but you can see how that battery life has fared. I typically only charge my watch every two to three days, even when I do sleep with it and I do workouts as well. So really good battery life on watchOS 26.2. And now as far as overall performance goes, I have also noticed an improvement here with performance, specifically with the Notes application. So with notes before it would really lag when I open it up but that's been resolved here with watchOS 26.2 it opens up more fluid now and I can go through my notes easier also dictation seems to work a little bit better in notes but as far as actual you know fluidity and things like that control center specifically used to be an area that lagged really hard in 26.0 and also in 26.1 but that lag seems to be gone for me in the control center so you can see I can open up with no lag I can scroll up and down without any lag in the control center which is not something I experienced on the previous two versions. So that is also a welcomed fix here with 26.2. So really no complaints in terms of battery life or performance 
for me. So with all that being said, should you update to watchOS 26.2? And I would say definitely, especially if you track your sleep and you use the sleep score feature. So that now has a much better grading. And you know, also the urgent reminders, if you're a fan of reminders on your iPhone and you like receiving those alerts and those alarms on your Apple Watch, that's also another good reason to go ahead and update. Not to mention the potential for better battery life and better performance, at least for me, that's been the case. I don't like to say for sure this is going to be for everybody just because everybody's experience is different. Everybody has a different device. It's really hard to say for sure if something is improved or not. But for me, I have noticed a difference, especially in the control center right here and also with battery life. So that's another good reason to update. Otherwise, you know, if you don't sleep track, if you don't use urgent reminders, if you're having great battery life and performance, then, you know, it's not a huge update unless you've been having issues. So you may just want to stay, you know, on the version you're on. But if you're having bugs, you'd like to see those fixed and you'd like to see these new improvements, of course, it is always advised to go ahead and update. And then finally, looking ahead into the future, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple in terms of watchOS software updates. So next up is going to be watchOS 26.3. And I would expect that sometime near the end of January. So that's most likely going to come out then. And that will be most likely a minor update. The 0.3 updates are generally very minor updates. You know, 0.1 and 0.3 are some of the more minor updates early on. And then after that, we're going to see watchOS 26.4. Now, this is going to be a big update, especially for the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. That is going to be coming at some point, most likely in March. We don't know of anything specifically that's going to be major for the Apple Watch. However, that is most likely going to be a bigger update than watchOS 26.2. So make sure you do keep it locked to the channel for that video. I'll most likely be making a video on watchOS 26.4 when that does get released in the future. But that is everything for watchOS 26.2. A pretty minor update overall. We do have the nice changes to sleep score and some of the other changes as well, but really not a major update like we've seen in the past for these point two updates. However, I did still want to cover it specifically for that sleep score feature and some of the other changes that I've noticed with fitness tracking and with the performance and the battery life. So you guys let me know down in a comment below how watchOS 26.2 is doing for you. Also, let me know the Apple watch that you installed this update on. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.